Okay, so uh, you got some blood meal there, Dory. What are you doing exactly? I'm side dressing them with blood meal. If you see, these guys are kind of small. We planted them late because we had such a bug, uh, squash bug problem that we just decided to replant and start again. But they're kind of yellow, and we're not really sure why. So um, we know that nitrogen makes things greener and pumps them up, and so we're just going to go ahead and give them a little bit of um, nitrogen. I'm doing about half a teaspoon, about two and a half, three inches away from their body. So when it gets wet, it'll get down to the roots, so kind of be a little bit slower. We're using blood meal. Um, Blood meal is just a fast-acting nitrogen. Can you show us the bag there? What exactly does that look like? I'm not really wanting to promote this company, but this is organic blood meal. That's all right. It's not USDA organic. That kind of bothers me, but I know where blood meal comes from, so I'm not too concerned about, about it. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. So I just dig down, like I say, about two or three inches away from their base. I uh, pour some in there, about half a teaspoon, and I just cover it up. When it gets wet, it'll run down, and they'll find it. Plants are pretty active at, try at finding nutrients that they need, too. So, so we're going to try this on this big plant, too, right? Mm -hmm. We've got this really beautiful plant that we've been cultivating here. You can see the leaves are starting to get sort of yellowed. Don't have any major issues with bugs anymore with this plant but we're still seeing some yellowing compared to the growth over here. Very dark colored green on these plants over here. So we're gonna go ahead and try some blood meal on, on this guy as well and see if it makes any difference over the next few days.